Okay guys, so we just got a huge new update on what Ye has been up to since the Adidas and Yeezy split. There's a bunch of new videos out there which we're gonna go through and talk about because Kanye has been cooking up some pretty insane stuff since the whole split. So I'm gonna break it down for you guys. We've got a lot to get into, so let's jump into it. It all started when he gave this paparazzi a tour of his office. I mean, just the fact that Ye was like, yo, come into the office. Paparazzi just waiting outside, just, just come on in. That is absolutely crazy. Crazy, especially given his past with the paparazzi. So as they're walking in, Ye introduces this guy to the paparazzi. Essentially, he is Milo Yiannopoulos, and he mentions how this is his new campaign manager for his new presidential run. So essentially, Ye is gonna be running for president in 2024. He actually also confirms this later on in the video, which we will get to, but he essentially just says point blank, yes, I am running for president 2024. As they go inside, this is the craziest part because we get our first looks at the new Yeezy headquarters. As we go in, you just see rails of clothing, which is crazy. Like there's some super colorful stuff. There's some more like darker stuff. Ye actually pulls a pair of pants off of the rails. He says that this is Balenciaga, but we're now rebranding it as Ye24 merch. I will talk about that in just a second because he does actually elaborate on what this merch is and how he's kind of going about his new Ye24 merch. And it's, it's absolutely mind blowing. So just give us a second. Now another insane part is when he introduces his employees of just, I think it's like maybe 10 or 20 employees at the max, all sat there at little workstations with sewing machines, essentially creating his new clothing line. And it really got me thinking like, damn, this is the operation at the moment for Ye. It's pretty crazy to see, like just imagining what he went from at Adidas with, I imagine hundreds of employees and like buckets of different distribution centers and different manufacturing places to just this like relatively small room, hardly any employees, just all hand making the product. And then he kind of moves over to like all of the clothes that are laid out on the ground and Kanye just kind of like walks all over it, picks up a pair of sweatpants and kind of shows them off like, yo, this is the new Ye24 merch. And just looking at this clothing, like none of it really looks recognizable because he actually says when they move over to the other room of just even more clothing like laid out on the ground, says like what they're doing here essentially is they're taking a bunch of different clothing from Adidas, Gap, Balenciaga, Balenciaga and Yeezy and they're basically just cutting it up and they're gonna sell it all for $20 each. Now I'm not entirely sure whether like this is all collaboration stuff like Yeezy Gap and then Yeezy Gap Balenciaga. It, it kind of all looks like very unfamiliar stuff. But Ye's literally planning on selling this stuff whether they're gonna rebrand it all as Ye24 much but they're gonna sell it for $20 a pop. I mean it's wild to see because like some of these things like actually look like really substantial designs. They've got like jackets here, they've got like denim, they've got like t-shirts, a whole bunch of different stuff. It would be pretty unprecedented if these were actually sold for $20. Now Kanye is still rocking Adidas, which is pretty interesting. I believe that's the, yeah, it is the Adidas Balenciaga collaboration, which given that both of those companies literally cut ties and said that they don't want anything to do with him, it is definitely interesting seeing that he is still rocking stuff from both of them. Now, one of the coolest parts is when they move over to like this little corner of the room where they have like maybe eight, seven or eight different jackets laid out on the floor. Now, all of these jackets do look like Yeezy exclusive stuff. Like it's not Balenciaga or Adidas. They do look like very Yeezy designs, maybe potentially from the Yeezy season nine. A goes over to like this beige colored jacket, which low key is fire. Like he throws it on and I'm like, damn, I would rock that jacket in a heartbeat. And then literally right after Ye tries it on, he says, yo, this fits oversized. Do you want it? And, and the guy's like, yeah, sure. And he literally just gives it to the paparazzi guy, which I thought like, that is so cool. Like what is going on here? I am assuming that this is Yeezy stuff. I don't know whether that's going to be $20 as well, but yeah, it, it's going to be something that he eventually sells. I don't know whether this is some kind of like sampling phase for Yeezy brand. But it's incredibly different to how any other business operates, that's for sure. And this is when it gets pretty crazy and also pretty alarming. Essentially, Kanye says that the reason he is announcing that he's gonna be running for president is because he wants the FCC to look at his money. And the reason why he wants the FCC to look at his money is because Adidas apparently went to JP Morgan and froze his bank accounts. He says that there would have been a possibility that Adidas wouldn't have gone to JP Morgan and froze 75 million 
million dollars in four of his different accounts. He details how he went from a multi-billionaire to not even being able to use his Apple Pay, and then reiterates how Adidas somehow went in and froze his money so he wasn't able to use it. Now, I have no idea how this would be possible or if it's, I don't know, if it's possible, it sounds crazy. And then Kanye comes in and starts really talking about the whole Yeezy and Adidas thing, and it really seems like he's had time to think about the whole aftermath, I at least assume from this video, that's what it kind of appears to be like. He says that he's kind of thankful that it all happened because now he can serve God better. He says that uh, the Adidas team is not gonna have the best Thanksgiving. And then he mentions that they took that IP. Even though they, sh they took that IP, they hired lawyers to sign it over. I, I promise everyone out there, those designs, they still good by me. I know y'all saying, we not gonna buy them unless Shay got them. If y'all want those designs, they still good by me. Meaning that once inevitably Adidas does release the old Yeezy designs that he obviously had a part in creating, those designs are still good with Kanye. And this is a really interesting thing that he says because I don't know whether it's a throwaway or whether he knows something that we don't know. Whatever Adidas wants to drop this Thanksgiving or Christmas, just know that that's fine with him. It's kind of leading me to believe like, is Adidas planning to drop Yeezys around Thanksgiving? or Christmas time, like I thought it was 2023. Are they planning to do it sooner? It definitely could mean that. Now this last part, I'm just gonna play the clip because I think it's just so much better in his words. <laughs> I'm gonna just play the clip. For everyone in contracts, I know that this will never happen again in history. There will never be a situation where people end a multi-billion dollar deal off of a tweet. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. So I would like to thank everyone that was involved with this negotiation. Thank God no one was hurt in the process. And I feel free. I mean, it's kind of cool to see, like he obviously, like there were so many rumors going around that this was something that Kanye wanted. Like everybody's been saying like, oh my God, Kanye's been losing so much money. Kanye went from a billionaire to like just a millionaire now. And it's gonna be so terrible for Kanye, but it seems like it's something that he wanted. Now, whether he actually like masterminded and he did everything to get out of the deal, that's a whole nother speculation that we don't really need to get into. Either way, it seems like Kanye inevitably at the end of the day, got what he wanted, which was out of the Yeezy deal. I'm sure the, the Gap deal as well. Free! Literally, when they go and check out all of these racks of clothing, like Kanye literally says he went and bought all the Balenciaga that he could find and uh, they're gonna be selling it for $20. They're gonna print yay 24 on it and just sell it for, for $20. At the end of the day, what does this mean for the future of Yeezy? Well, obviously I think Kanye is definitely still got a way to go. Now seeing this whole warehouse and like what he's got going on, I don't know how much he's gonna be able to produce if this is his only facility. But obviously they can do what they're doing, which is producing merch. Will he have the manufacturing available at the moment to start producing on a level of like what we've seen in the past with the whole Adidas and Yeezy collaboration? Obviously not. But it seems like he's happy, he's got a lot going on in the pipeline. Obviously, he's going to be running for president in 2024, or at least that's what he is saying. And I guess in terms of his next upcoming clothing line, well, it's pretty much going to be Balenciaga, Yeezy, and Adidas stuff and Gap stuff that's going to be $20. I don't know how that's going to go down. Like, how much money is he going to be losing by selling all of this stuff at $20? Like, you got to think, you, you got to be paying these employees. You've spent so much money, I assume, at retail for all of this Balenciaga product. Yeah, just wanted to show you guys this. I thought it's pretty insane, a pretty massive update for Yeezy as a brand. So anybody that's interested in the next steps, the fallout from the Yeezy and Adidas split, well, now you know the latest update. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for coming through, hanging out for yet again another video. Thank you for liking, commenting, and of course subscribing. I'll catch you guys in the next one, but until then.